Hey, what's going on guys? This is Taylor with the Cyber and You team. Today I want to talk to you about how to dual boot Windows and SteamOS. So SteamOS is a Linux distribution for gaming and it's yeah right here like it says based on a desktop for Linux. Uh, it's currently in beta but you can install it yourself and they're actually um, it's actually one of the easiest uh, platforms to use for gaming uh, in the Linux distribution. Um, the reason I'm going to go ahead and show you this How To Geek site is because once I actually go through the dual booting process, I can't show you a lot of stuff on the back uh, on the back side because I won't be able to actually use OBS to do my recording here uh, to show you what's going on when I'm setting up the uh, partitions and everything like that. So this walks you through it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the good part. I was actually going to try the ye old uh, Steam OS E. But unfortunately, uh, it looks like that GitHub page is broken, so I'm actually going to use SteamOS. Now, the difference between the two is that um, ye old SteamOS and just the full version of Valve SteamOS, uh, one is going to require less hardware, and SteamOS actually has a litany of hardware requirements that ye old uh, SteamOS doesn't have. So I'm going to just do the SteamOS ISO uh, and I'm actually downloading it here at the bottom. Uh, and let's just go ahead and dive in. So as you can see here, you have to use, so I'm downloading the ISO, which is the first step. But after that, uh, you're going to boot from a disk. Uh, and you're gonna do that through BIOS and, or UEFI for the newer computers. And you're going to use the power user install option. Uh, and that's the option that you have to use me to be able to dual boot your system. So right now I'm running Windows 10, but I also want to dual boot into my Steam OS uh, Linux distribution. So it's going to put me in the Steam OS installer. And then we're going to do the manual option because if you do the guided use entire disk, it's going to wipe your entire disk. So anything that you have on this hard drive will actually be wiped and it will all be SteamOS, which is not what I want. I want to be able to dual boot in there. Um, you can resize your NTFS partition. I'm probably not going to do that uh, for Windows because I have a 2 terabyte hard drive and I think I'm just going to have plenty of space. Uh, but once I get into it, I might do a little bit of stuff on the back end that you guys won't really be able to see. If you have a second hard drive, you should be able to just install it uh, directly on that hard drive, um, as it says here. Uh, the next part, you're going to resize the partition, click continue. You'll be asked whether you want to write any previous changes to the disk, and if you've been following this process, all you got to do is select yes and continue. You want to maybe enter a smaller size for your Windows partition if you have limited space on your hard drive. Uh, that is actually going to free up some space for SteamOS while also being able to maintain that Windows 10 or whatever Windows distribution you might be running. Uh, then you're going to select the free space partition that you just created. And then we're going to create a partition for the SteamOS base system. You select the create a new partition option and enter the new size. Uh, Valve, which is what I'm using, the Valve Steam OS, uh, asks for a 10 gigabyte partition. Since I have a 2 terabyte drive, uh, that should be super easy to do. Um, but it also says that you can use uh, as low as a 3 gigabyte partition. But that's the absolute minimum, so you might have some performance issues down the road. And then you got to ensure that you use EXT4 and the mount point is root. Um, but they should be automatically selected. So. If they're not, those are the two settings that you want to use. Then you want to create a swap partition. Um, it's the same thing as a page file on the Windows. Uh, select free space again, enter a partition size. Valve uses 10 gigabytes, um, but it says you only, maybe only need a gigabyte or two. But it'll depend on how much of RAM that you're actually using. If you're installing on an old computer, you might want to create a larger swap space. You want to, they recommend using a logical partition uh, and placing it at the beginning of the free space when asked. Then you want to create a recovery partition, select free space again. Uh, use, also uses 30 or uh, uses 10 gigabytes for that. Uh, so actually, right now I'm sitting at about 30 gigs for the Steam OS uh, partitions that I'm going to use. But again, as it says, you can use 3 gigabytes as a, 
absolute minimum if you have a little bit of worries for space. And then we're going to name that partition boot recovery. And then last, we're going to create a partition uh, where we install the games. You want to make that as large as possible because that's actually where you're going to need the most space. Um, and also, again, you're going to want to use ext4, and then the mount point is home for this one. Oh, I don't think I went back and covered what the mount point. Uh, select the mount point option, click continue to set up a mount point. Click enter manually and click continue to enter a custom mount point. And this is for the, um, <clears throat> sorry, that's for the recovery partition. And this is what the end result should look like. So you have your primary Windows partition, you have your primary Steam OS partition, you have your logical partitions for the swap space, recovery partition, and then also the, um, the partition for loading all your games. Once you confirm the changes, uh, install should happen. And it'll ask you about setting up a dual boot, boot with Grub Bootloader. Click yes and, and then allow it to continue. And this right here will tell you um, how to boot into your system. So you can you can actually boot into SteamOS here. You can do a recovery mode, or you can just boot into well. For my case, it'd be Windows 10. And then now it'll actually take us through the post install process. When you boot it up, you'll have to create a um, you have to log into the uh, system with the account name SteamOS and the password Steam. So that's how you're going to get into the system. And then on the desktop, you click Activities option, select Applications, and open a terminal. Type Steam into the terminal and enter Run Steam. Accept the end user license agreement and allow Steam to set it up. And then you don't even actually have to sign into Steam yet. You can close Windows when you're asked. After the process completes, log out of the desktop by clicking the Steam Account option in the upper right corner and uh, select Log Out. Then log in. Uh, with the account name desktop, password desktop. Then open a terminal window and this is the command that you're going to want to type in and then press enter. Then the password desktop when prompted and it will set up Steam OS and automatically reboot the computer into the recovery partition utility and you just got to let it run. But this is what you uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, a valve is a little bit of a little bit funny here. With great power comes great responsibility. Then you're going to want to type yes when you have this pop up uh, to create the recovery partition, and then you can reboot uh, Steam OS. Then uh, when we get done, I'll actually show you in another video how to use Steam OS. Uh, this is actually my first time using Steam OS, so we're actually going to learn together. But as you can see through these screenshots, it actually because it actually uses the Steam platform uh, for gaming. So it's already built into the interface. And that's one reason why gamers like to use it, uh, because it automatically syncs with your Steam account and you can play games directly from it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the partitioning and everything on the backhand side. And in the next video, I'll show you how to interact with the Steam OS and I'll actually pull up a game for you. Uh, again, if you like this video, uh, just go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and um, don't forget to check out our Twitter at CyberNU1, check out our Facebook page, and don't forget to look at our website, uh, www.cybernu.com. Thanks.